What the hell are you doing? Just play along for now, please. Guess I'll make some coffee. Your mom's purse. Got a bit of cash. It's nowhere near enough for you. <laughs> Meat, wine, looks like your parents have a night planned. You brew some coffee. So, um, I saw the fire on the news. What happened? What do you care? Well, first we got evacuated after that they gave us the go-ahead to leave. Since we've been cleared of the parasites anyway. Huh. Interesting. On the news, they said everyone died. You want to guess that your parents are the ones that sent the hitmen after? Oh wait, no, it said the associating company. Yeah. To the ones that make the the, the shit drinks. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. That would certainly make the story sound more. Anyway, here we are now. Neither burnt nor full of parasites. I'm... Yeah, that face is filled with mother motherly affection. I'm just glad you're safe. <laughs> God, you sure look like it. <laughs> so, uh, quite the upgrade from our previous place, huh? Where'd you get the money for this place? Did you finally win the lottery? <laughs> I wish. Look, I keep mixing up those voices. This house needs some serious repairs, but the area is so worth it, don't you think? A perfect non-answer. They even hold barbecue events here with neighbors. Barbecue events, just like on TV. I thought that was all bullshit, but no, they actually do that stuff here. Bet you stick out like a sore thumb. You'd be surprised. I'm actually quite well liked. So probably all thanks to my cooking skills. It's a shame our Ashley didn't inherit any. Hey, what the hell? <laughs> the rest of the conversation is dreadfully boring. You don't contribute anything to it because you can't keep up with Andrew's lies. And if you're being honest, you don't want to talk to your mother in the first place. Well... It was good seeing you. Your father should be coming home soon, so I really need to get started making some dinner. Oh no, don't worry about it. I'll make something. You know fully well that was her way of telling you to get lost. Um, oh boy, I can't wait to hear how Dad has been. He must have been all kinds of... He must have all kinds of stories about repairing this place. That's true. Anyway, why don't you go rest? I'll fix us something. Uh, I'll take you up on that. Thank you. Mother leaves. You are Andrew. Somehow your burglary attempt ended up with you cooking your victim's dinner. Go ahead, then. Make something new smooth talker you. Inside the fridge is some meat. You should probably make something out of that if you knew what. You don't know how, what to make yet. You browse the cooking book for some 
but for some simple recipe. What? I got this. You can go do whatever. I'm all right. What is it? It's nothing. Hmm. You're struck with an <sighs> odd urge to pull this broody bitch into your arms and force her to stay until she smiles. But you push such an idea to, into to the back of your mind, where it may fester with all the other thoughts you wish you never had. Either way, you let her hover over you for now. Found a simple soup recipe. You need I mean, at, at, oh. at least with the back and forth in, like, who we're playing as, we get the narrator being very insightful about the fact that this, uh, weird fucking abusive relationship does in fact very clearly go both ways. Yeah. You'll need meat, carrots, potatoes, onions. Chop everything up and boil in a pot. Well, all the vegetables are outside. Potatoes? How nice that our parents had all these fresh ingredients. While we languished in our apartment. Really makes one appreciate just how much they love us. Come on, we'll get ours. We just have to figure out how to go about this now that she's seen us. Leave no witnesses. Let's not jump to that just yet. Fucking know it. Please, just let me think. I'll figure out something, alright? You get the feeling she has something more to say. Well, you can't tell whatever it is. It's going to start an ar- you Wait, hold on. But you can tell whatever it is, it's going to start an argument. So you leave it be for now. Yeah, the demon wants more souls. <laughs> Potatoes. We have all the ingredients just, prepared. Oh. Just fucking miscellaneous meat. Just curious. Did you just use the cultist cleaver to cut all the ingredients? Yes. Why? I hope you washed it first. I've kept it clean, obviously. Anyway, that should be all the ingredients. Oh, you throw all the ingredients in a pot and wait. Alright, you can't take this anymore. Ashley, I can tell something is up. Spit it out. I have something to tell you. <laughs> But first, you have to promise you'll agree. I will absolutely Girl. not promise that. Okay then, never mind. Stop being annoying, what is it? You're going to be such a bitch about it. I really wanted you to come to this conclusion by yourself. But since you won't, let me spell it out for you. We have to kill mom and dad. <sighs> no, no, none of that. I actually need their souls to recharge the clairvoyance dream thingy. Do you really, or are you just saying that? Huh? Pretty fucking interesting that you'd mention this now, of all times. I did try to tell you before, but you blew me off. And again, I was hoping you'd come around on your own. 
Shame on me for expecting anything from you. Made me think bad. What's there to think about? Hey! What voice should I give? Okay, I gave the mom, like, weird British lady. So. Uh. Oh. Green. How the fuck do I do a British accent? Whoa. Oh, what? That's how you. That's how you get into a British accent. You just start taking away. Oh. That sounds awful. Hello, kids. Yeah, I'll just go with that. Hello, kids. It's good to see you. Says Dad with all the enthusiasm of a dead fish. You get to see what he looks like? One extremely tiresome dinner later. Where's the still image of the dad? Well, you see... I don't know. <sighs> that was... A... Riveting conversation. What did we... <laughs> what did we talk about again? Anyway, I'm sorry, kid. I'm exhausted. I'm headed straight to bed. <laughs> Let's see, uh, British lady. Could you two clean up? She leaves without waiting for an answer. Damn, they're bad parents and they're rude asses. Oh, God damn it. No one wants to fuck the dad, obviously. Why'd you say God damn also, it? Also, we're gonna kill their parents? Neat. <laughs> right? <laughs> I said, oh, God damn it, because the fucking fuck music's back. <laughs> oh. And then Bookworm comes in. With the Mike Wazowski voices, no one wants to fuck the dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, book. We only have 30 minutes left to stream because work made me really, really fucking tired. Although you might be happy to know that uh, I am uh, getting a graphics card for this new computer for my birthday slash Christmas present from my parents. And once that comes in, I am quite heavily considering starting up streaming on my own channel. Green's Bookworm, you have to donate a bunch of money to hatch it. Well, it's not like I'd be an affiliate right off the bat. You don't know that. That's not how that works, bro. Oh no. God, what have I done? <laughs> so yeah. I guess if that does. So I guess if that does. Yep. So I guess if that does end up coming to fruition, I'll just message you in DMs on Discord. Since yeah. I don't know what servers we're still in, and I don't I don't think I would post about it outside of Bright server initially. Yeah, so it can't be done. The dishes, the robbing, or the killing. <laughs> Robin nor cannon. The more I think about it, the less doable this is. It takes one report to the authorities to put us on their radar. If anything happens to our parents, who do you reckon are the prime suspects? We just gotta chat in your stream and give it the good news. And hopefully don't get botted. And also, our stream. Let's see, what we just gotta chat in your stream. Give it the good 
view. Oh, give it the good views. I read that as news. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Well, surely not their two dead kids. Also, our streaming, yeah. But were those documents even official? Well, even then, surely the poor Graves siblings perished in the fire. Trust me, it only takes one person to start digging into it. And suddenly, we've not only alerted them we're alive, but also revealed our, s our recent whereabouts. We're better off mugging random strangers who have no connection to us. And what makes you so sure this bitch will snitch on us anyway? Seems to me she's already sold us off at once before. I mean, assuming she she believed me earlier, there's no reason for her to do anything. She's the kind of person who'd rather stay out of it anyway. Speaking of giving money to... <laughs> Oh, uh, Fire thank Red you, Emblem Bookworm. has gifted four subs to viewers. Yay. I have gifted subs. It. You're up to 15 out of 250. Ten more, and goal. I'll get more emotes of Daryl. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Fuck! Get, get grinding! We need Daryl emotes. We're gonna try to get up to 25 subs before the end of the non subathon subathon. Ah, uh, yeah. We must have Daryl emotes. Mm hmm. What? What? You're all about being so careful. But when push comes to shove, you stick your head in the sand. Fuck yeah, we're an ostrich. Wait, I think I missed a, a a fucking line there. Oh well. I think you skipped over one of her lines. Dick I, face. I like when go back. Hell, since you think everything is all good, why not stay here and play happy family some more? That you'd like that, huh? You seem to get along so nice. You know, I'm only keeping up appearances, right? And so is she. Felt to me it was the same as ever. Ashley, are you kidding me? Okay. Listen, I chose you, didn't I? I chose you. So if anyone is playing half the family here, it's, it's you and me. So you're saying we're not happy? No. No, you are not happy, girl. Are you kidding me? <laughs> not that I don't know that already. Fuck off with that, that's not what I said. Actually, I choose you. If you keep your end in agreement, everything should ju be just peachy. I've been behaving. No, you haven't, but that's not what I'm talking about anyway. I agreed to behave, and you agreed it's just us now. Funny, because I remember agreeing to bury Andy and Lele. That is funny. I think you're misremembering. Girl. I'm not. I'm not, because it's the only reason I'm here in the first place. Then you must have misunderstood me. Oh, that was what, sorry. I thought it was just dots. What? If you don't like it, 
Why don't you stay here with mommy and daddy and be a good little man? What? <laughs> Oh. Be a good little murder boy. Why don't you leave me to rot? Clearly you don't even like me. You're the one who doesn't like me. It's all about Andy with you. Well, guess what? Andy is dead. You're right. I really don't like Andrew. I'm sorry to hear that. Because Andrew is all you'll get. Uh oh. I've 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 seen I've seen those pictures around. It's n n now isn't the time for this anyway. Let's just leave. I'll figure out what we'll do about the money and, and the trinket. If we're leaving anyway, with the trinket charged, we'd at least have the means to stay safe. I I get that, but if we leave quietly, there'll be no need for anyone to look for us. Oh shit. Oh yeah. shit. Did you not notice her showing up? No, I did. Oh, <sighs> Andrew, I don't believe for a second that woman can keep her mouth shut without being dead. Ahem. What are you two whispering about? Nothing. Did you need something? Just like peas in a pod. I don't suppose you've gotten any friends you can go stay with. Oh. There isn't enough space in the house. You've got a couch and you've got a spare bed downstairs. Despite it being far larger than the last one. And you're both already in your twenties. I don't know how else to say it. No, no, it's... Yeah, we're not fucking planning on living here. Thanks for the invitation, though. Book says, oh no, there was only one thing. <laughs> it's My not have cool. fucked on this bed, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, there was a reference. Oh yeah, book. You might have missed it, cause unless you were just lurking, cause earlier Bright looked around in their bedroom in this new house, and it, it again made reference to uh, the the doinking happening on the bed, and then yeah. Ashley op opened the 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 closet. There was a bunch of BDSM gear, <laughs> as well as sexy lingerie in the basement. Yeah, next to the washing machine. This game really goes there. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're an unwelcome visit. There's just... Very interesting. There's just no room to keep housing you indefinitely. Yeah, I get it. But since you're already here, I guess one night won't be a problem. But you need to start looking for somewhere else to stay first thing in the morning. And it should probably be two separate places. That's a tall order after our earthly possessions just burned to the ground. It's amazing what money can buy once you have a job. Speaking of which, I have a morning shift tomorrow. 
There's a spare bed in the basement. Andrew, you can take the ca Yeah, exactly what I was saying. Andrew, you can take the couch. Alright, good night. Good night. So she's just, like, not going... So, so we're just not going to address the elephant in the room of the fact that she walked in on you two discussing killing her. Yeah. Also, I have a feeling that she probably knows that Ashley has feelings for Andrew. <laughs> That's why she and, sets well, separate and, houses. And vice versa. It's pretty yeah. clear that it's like a two-way street by now. I'm pretty sure she knows. <laughs> yeah, I've seen some images that I'm guessing are still coming up that would confirm that suspicion. Well, aren't you going to bed? I'm not that tired yet, so... You're under my roof now. Right now. And you will go to your designated sleeping areas immediately. Uh... Jesus Christ! <laughs> Sleep Lady. now, motherfucker. <laughs> lady, lady, you're not giving us reasons to not want you dead. Sleep I mean, now. What? I mean, she's hot. You think that matters right now? <laughs> Ashley's way hot. <laughs> Ashley is objectively hotter. But for some reason, I kind of like the mother better. Hmm. Well, I guess you get to be a sacrificed soul as well. <laughs> I, I'm technically already a sacrificed soul if you think, if you think about it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sleep now, or get out at once. Bright likes MILFs, got it. I mean, MILFs are pretty cool. I'm not saying she's bad looking, but Ashley's better. You pretend to go to bed until your parents fall asleep. Going to sleep is the worst. During the day, all the noise and Ashley's never-ending bullshit keeps your mind occupied. But at night, alone with your thoughts, there's nothing to distract you from yourself. Despite having every intention to going to pick a fight with, Ash with Ashley, you drift off to sleep. I, I have to constantly clean... The underside of my uh, <laughs> mouse pad with a Clorox wipe <laughs> to get it to fucking dick. <laughs> Book says, "Oh damn, so tall. Thank you." <laughs> First thing I thought was gonna be something spooky. It says, but look at what it's saying. Greetings, neighbor. <laughs> That's what broke That's a good me. <laughs> Salutations. Would you like some Christmas pudding? Hast thou arrived to borrow sweet gra granules of sugar? <laughs> Behold, as thou may witness... Not but flesh doth I possess to present unto thee. All the ghosts apparently required to speak like this. Yes, even the recently passed ones. Bruh, this isn't Macbeth. You read too Fuck much off. poetry. <laughs> you read too much. <laughs> Be alert, young Mr. Graves. It is time for you to. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. To compartmentalize. Oh, I didn't notice because of where I was standing when his torso was at the bottom. <laughs> this is normal. Don't worry, everything's normal. Everything's fine. Oh. That's normal. <laughs> 
The freezer isn't full of human meat. This freezer isn't full of human meat. What ails thee? Oh, wait, so we have to get around the economic sanctions of the U.S. put on North Korea first, lol. But as the headline of one site said, it's possible but not easy. <laughs> so I could send the leader of North Korea dead pig. <laughs> You'd probably need to need to be like a stuffed pig. Yeah. You know, like taxidermied because like if it's actually rotting, there's no way that gets through at all. <laughs> Yeah, but have it dressed like Peppa Pig. They'll no probably the same. I wonder what the fuck. <laughs> you know what? Bro? <laughs> Real talk. Yes. One of your eventual channel goals should be to get a taxidermied Peppa Pig. <laughs> get a taxidermied fucking pig. That was like an old pig. You know, they lived a long, good life. They yeah. died of old age, and taxidermy said pig, and then dressed them like Peppa Pig, and then that's that that that's that's a channel meme. Every night, oh dead God. Peppa Pig is staring at you <laughs> while you sleep. I would probably just laugh. <laughs> you I've wake seen up worse. and dead Peppa Pig sits there. I mean, I've seen worse, so it probably I mean, won't yeah. bother me. <laughs> I would imagine, yeah. <laughs> it would just make me laugh. Wonder what it would do to Busta. <laughs> it must would Busta be... be scared of dead Peppa Pig? He may try to eat it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Busta. I mean, he ate a table, so I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> What am I supposed to- Oh! Oh, gotta go grab the flesh. <laughs> gotta love gotta win. Gotta Am I win. supposed to grab the torso now? Nope. Maybe you should go grab the other thing still out there in the void. I can't. Oh, then look for another path. The pan is empty. Alright, Ashley already cooked one. <laughs> Who's this random bitch over there? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you just why are you just going around immediately calling women bitches? You bitch! It's missing can. Oh wait, that's wrong force. It's missing candles. It's missing candles. <laughs> oh, that's normal. What are you doing here? Oh. Oh, it's a little. You just called <laughs> little Lele a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I mean, she is. Yeah, it's acceptable, but not the child Lele. <laughs> Okay, actually, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> you forgot she did murder. <laughs> well, I still don't know if you could classify that as murder. Maybe second degree. Yeah. Probably second degree, or third degree, depending on where you are. Mm-hmm. What? What? Why are you yelling at me? Because fuck you. Could you hear Festus? No. <laughs> Just get over here and meow into the microphone. Oh yeah, Bookworm, how's my voice sound? Is it better than last time? Like I said, your voice is still awful, but at least the mic quality's better. Go fuck yourself, Hatchet. Festus. I've got a boy. Anyway. I, uh... Actually, no. Don't answer. I don't care. Get lost. You're not supposed to exist anymore. That is her... Yawa? You're not the boss of me, Andy. Pokemon says much better. Forget this. Oh, great. Oh, She's following me. Like 
<laughs> Stop following me, you little shit. Ugh. Ah, get your ass out of my face. Jesus. What? Festus. <laughs> what, did you leave just to immediately come back? What is your damage? What do you want? What is it you want? Gods, I love you. But you're stupid. Stupid like a cat. Dora has no handle, nor will it budge. Let me get that. I like places a candle on a candle holder. Nothing oh, not happens. Candelabra. You're welcome. Use your lighter to light the candle. Oh, get what your the ass out of my face. <laughs> Where the fuck did that come from? Uh, you can see it now because of the candle. Oh wow, that's a dick move. Two oh dick my moves. God. Oh my god, this oh <laughs> that is infuriating. Um 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 Okay, so first I see girl on bed. Uh, what's up with the tiny little demon baby thing there? I don't know? I wonder if this is Andy's ex-girlfriend. Oh yeah, it's 100% Andy's ex-girlfriend. Someone stares inside the room with an unblinking gaze. Julia. You've been quiet all day, what's up? Oh, she's cute. Oh, fuck. I don't... Okay, what... What's Julia's voice? I have no idea. <laughs> uh... Okay, you know what? Let's go with this. Layer. Oh, God. No, it's, it's nothing. Your sister's hella great. Oh my, oh my God, I want her. And <laughs> shit. You have to fight me I for No, fuck you. <laughs> You're ace, I'm gray ace. <laughs> so what does that matter? Not much, but it's a thing. <laughs> It means I'm statistically more likely to want to fuck. Who says that? Anyway. Who says anything about me not wanting to fuck her? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't say that. I said it makes it statistically more likely. I didn't say it's 100% more likely. But oh my god, I love her. She's god, probably gonna this die. Art style. She, well, I think she's like the ex that ended up breaking up with Andy because Lele is fucking insane. Fair. But, oh my, uh, okay. Door Julia on the back of my head to look up later. <laughs> Bookworm Jane, Oma and G. <laughs> I think that's the, uh, his, their reaction to us fighting over yeah. Julia. <laughs> look, I don't give a shit. Bonk me all you want. She's fucking hot. <laughs> Bonk the <laughs> yeah. Goddamn bookworms fighting us for her too. <laughs> That's her. It's a it's a love okay. It's a love square. <laughs> it's not even a square. It's a love. Uh, 
Asterisk? I don't know. <laughs> she is cute, Lil. Okay. Okay, there's a simple solution for all of this. Polyamory. Let's do this. Anyway. <laughs> or. Plus she's got Master Chief's voice, which is a massive plus. Oh my god. Or actually. It. Oh, I was about to say it. <laughs> I've been thinking about something a lot lately. But I don't know if I should bring it up. True, Julia deserves multiple <laughs> partners. Exactly. <laughs> With that much build up, you kind of have to now. <clears throat> mm hmm. Uh, Hatch is my dying. Heart. Hatch is dying. My heart. I love her. Ah uh ha. -huh. Well, okay, layer. But please don't get mad. When have I ever once even raised my voice with the? You know you can tell me anything. Uh, uh, oh, she has a sister. She broke me. This character has broken me. <laughs> I, like, I thought, like, Ashley was, like, like, in the back of my head throughout this entire thing. My brain is going, I can fix her. I can fix her, but Ashley, oh god, is not, oh, Julia. Why did brain. I get bonked and not hatch it? <laughs> because you immediately pointed out her sister with a, with, <laughs> with your tone. <laughs> I uh, talked to my sister about what you said the other day. And she agrees with me that maybe it's like maybe it'd be better for Ashley to learn some independent. Yes. 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 Oh my god. At the same time, maybe I'm fine with Ashley screwing this relationship over so I can have Julia. <laughs> Also, Andy doesn't deserve Julia. He definitely deserves a lay label. <laughs> well, to be fair, and I think I think Andy is like the significantly more morally sound character. Mm -hmm. Like outside of his incredibly abusive relationship with Lele, I feel like he would be a reasonably grounded, chill guy to be around. As well like as someone you can the, call for murder. Well, he's got the vibe of, like... You know what? He's got the vibe of, like, a really chill stoner. <laughs> His eyes are green, too, so it's perfect. Oh my god. Anyway. Even if it's just for her own sake, you know... Oh my gosh, I just noticed this, but the thing next to that bus stop, that's supposed to be like a trash can or whatever... No, I, don't say it! Do it, not it either say looks it. like a thumb, a, a butt it. plug, or Among Us. Don't say it! <laughs> 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 you know where I was going. <laughs> <laughs> that is me clip where I just torture hatchet. Clip it shit. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Here, did you read this line? Uh, yeah, I did. And maybe. Oh my, oh, 
She's blushing. Julia. Julia. My heart. <laughs> Is it normal to get this immediately fixated on a fictional character? Maybe. I mean, if it isn't normal, I when have I ever cared about being normal? Fair. And maybe, for our sake, who? Book says kinda. Alright, fair. I think it'd just be nice if you could stay over more often. And not like, always cut things short or cancel on me so much. Oh. Sorry. I I'm not reprimanding you. I can't make her learn anything though. N no. But you could, like, you know, not always go when she asks. Your sister needed something, wouldn't you, gal? Well, yes, but she only asks if she actually needs something. I suppose. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Or brought this up at all. No, no, it's fine. I am I guess I'm still shook up over what happened to your friend way back when. Ashley may not oh. look like it, but it, it I think it, it affected her a lot too. Wait a minute. Oh he, no. He's he's dating the grown-up friend of the girl that had a crush on him when they were kids that they fucking Thanos snapped with her asthma. Damn. Jesus. So that's probably why she is how she is. I really don't get that impression at all. Oh. For someone so obnoxious, she's surprisingly difficult to read, isn't she? Mutter, mutter. She's difficult in general. Sorry, I didn't catch that. N no, nothing. No. Anyway. Oh my god. Anyway, I worry about what happened. Oh wait. Anyway, I worry about something like that happening to her. Or happening to you. So I can't let either of you out of my sight. I for the leader. <laughs> but yeah, real talk. In terms of like my tastes in a fictional character. Mm -hmm. Eye patches or hair constantly covering the eye. Um. <clears throat> one of the one of the mm, I love it. No one look actually come to think of it, no wonder uh uh my brain just died. Mm hmm No wonder Hanji remained throughout one of my absolute favorite Attack on Titan characters. Mm. Though she is also almost certainly somewhat based off of Odin. Oh my so god. Like well. Bookworm just sent me something called Torturing oh Hatchet with Among Us. <laughs> Thank you, Buck. Thanks, Buck. Buck you, Bright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll be fine if you're with me. Oh wait, not Among Us. It's Among Us. Oh my god. Among Us. The Pokemon. Among Us. Among Us. I think that's not a Pokemon spelled. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway. 
Would you tie your hair up for me? <laughs> oh, hell no! You'll pull on it again! <laughs> ah, but don't you know it's how boys shudder love? Well, that's just awful! I suppose she still lingers. It hasn't been that long. I just kind of forgot about her with all the chaos going on. He's not gonna take you back, you know. When did I ask you? You'll never see her again. No, if, I want to see more Julia. And the fact that it doesn't really bother you... ...bothers you. You know what? It, Julia probably is absolutely better off. But I want to see more Julia. Yeah. What do you hope to find in there, pervert? That was her closet. <laughs> Study supplies such as pencils. The trash is full of letters. Mostly death threats. <gasps> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> to the fan sites with you, Ashton. <laughs> oh, oh that's probably Ashley this. out there. I said that earlier. You forgot my brain's fucked up. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> uh, it sure is dark that way. Good thing I have these candles. Great, hand them up. Ah, uh, no way. As <laughs> nicely killer. <laughs> uh. And I can't okay. save. <laughs> I right, wish. I don't. No, no, book. I don't want Ashley to die. But also. Uh. I don't know, Bright. This is your playthrough. You do what you will. And we'll just have to remember this save. Like, don't save over this save, and we can come back here at some other point. What are you doing? I'm messing with buttons to see if there was another button that I can use. Oh god damn it. Why why would you assume that? May I have please one of the me. the candles, please. Nope. And why is that? Because I only have so many left. And if my lemon muffin has no candles, I can't pretend it's a cake anymore. You just eat it then. The, that way you can pretend you ate the cake and you won't need the candles anymore. <laughs> the book says, well, we just gotta do a kill Lele run after this. It's too precious to eat. God, you're such a bull today. Okay, whatever. Oh, wait. There's nothing to light. Oh, now, maybe we uh, take one of the candles. Nope, we can't. Maybe the other candle? Did you actually, like, have to kill her? I don't know. Nope, can't click it. Try, try interacting with that TV. White noise. Even in your dreams, the entertainment sucks. 
Wait, you you also passed over something. No the papers. Oh, uh, papers. Uh. So what do you want to play today? Nothing. Go to bed. Boring. I don't care. Go to sleep and never wake up again. I don't want to sleep. I want to draw. Draw then. Just don't leave this spot. I can't draw without my coloring pencils. Time to go steal them from your bitch ex girlfriend. Yeah. I'm sorry, Julia. I got into character. Please, Julia. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, if I nick myself, I can get red. I get you your pencils. Thanks, Andy. You're the best. Oh, I'm finally alone now. Although, like, there are some absolutely wonderful paintings drawn with blood. Blood art is, like, a very underrated macabre art form. Yeah! <laughs> yes! yes! Thank you! What should I draw? I wouldn't want to hinder your artistic genius with my bad ideas. Hmm. Good call. Oh my god, yassifying melee. Well, I mean, that's kind of what I've been going for the whole time. Is like that valley girl yassify. Oh, I just oh. learned something interesting today. I meant to tell you, okay. catch it, the book. Um, apparently scammers have found a way to use AI to use the voice of your family members to try and scam you out of your money on the phone. Oh it's, yeah, I've heard about that it's shit. A, it's a thing, and I was like, what the fuck? It's just get enough fucking voice clips of a person, you can use AI to fucking mimic them. Mm-hmm. What a wonderful world! <laughs> it sounds about right for the hellscape we're in. It's this book. Anyone ready? A anyone else ready for iRobot to happen? Yes. Anyone? Anyone want to go with that outcome? Yes, I would love to. The you know fuck a robot or be fucked by one. That's not what happened in that movie. It's what happened in my movie. <laughs> There's a lot of movies like that. You don't need to you don't need to water down the porn genre with whatever the fuck you would make. It's on OnlyFans. Have fun. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> before I forget most of the plot of iRobot. Basically, it's a uh, exploration of the, uh, like, an element of the logical uh, issues with uh, AI, specifically, like, I think it's heavily based on the paperclip issue, or the paperclip problem, mm -hmm. where basically mm -hmm. someone, uh, ba basically, that question is... What would happen if you told an extremely powerful AI mm -hmm. that its mm -hmm. one purpose is to create as many paper clips as possible? The logical consequences of that is uh, terrifying because if an AI has access to all the means to make said paper clips, that means the AI likely has literally no concern for anything surrounding it. So if it focuses entirely on making paper clips, it starts using all of the metals to make paper clips, everything is paper clips, we're gonna run out of things that aren't paper clips. It's a pretty similar concept to that, where I, I guess spoilers for the like two or three decade old movie, but uh it's it's 
Yeah, I know none of this. I, I knew none of this when I watched it. Yeah, fair. Basically, uh, it's, um, it's showing how, like, basing, like, with robots and AIs, focusing entirely on percentages and, uh, having these hard-lined rules, said hard-lined rules can become disastrous, given the AI has enough time to think about said hardline rules and said probabilities. Like, Will Smith's character is entirely driven by the fact that he hates robots, doesn't trust them at all, specifically because uh, he was in a car accident where there was a little girl and him, and they were both in a car uh, and ended up on water, and a robot jumped in to save them, but the robot could only save one. And the robot calculated that it had a better chance of saving Will Smith rather than the little girl. So it saves Will Smith rather than the little girl. So because it's focused so much on percentages, it doesn't... It, it, it goes for what, at the very least for us humans, reasonably would be considered the lesser of the two options morally. And with the paperclip idea, basically one of uh, the hardline rules for uh, robots is uh, that their ultimate goal is to only help humanity the best they can. So mm -hmm. the AI eventually came to the conclusion that humans are really fucking dumb. So let's just lock all the humans up to protect them. See how that can go? It's it's basically a very dramatic, cinematic uh, exploration of that idea. It was a good movie. I liked it. Yeah. Anyways... Yeah.